Hello class. Today we're going to start on a video going over the basics on creating a new Adobe session. This will set the foundation for the project that we will be working with for the rest of the month. So let's start by creating a new audition session. We're going to select a multi-track session. A multi-track session allows you to have more than one audio file at the same time for you to process, listen, manipulate, and blend or mix together much like we will need in this class where we will be having dialogue, sound effects, and music audio files that we will have to blend together. Let's start by naming this session. When naming a session, I recommend you use a couple of parameters. Good habit to have is start by the name of the company. Second, the name of the project. Third could be the date that this session started or it was executed. Other factors to contribute could be the function of that session. If this is a initial session, if this is a recording or tracking session, if this is a mixing session, maybe an editing session. A habit I've created through the years is doing a save as on these sessions and changing that last parameter. This way identifying the current stage that I'm at during the process of this project. In this case, we're using full sale, ADA, as the course and banana project as the name of the project. Then I'm making sure to allocate this project into the correct folder. I've created a folder specifically for full sale and then a folder within that for the specific project. Within that project folder, I've created other folders to put all the assets pertaining to this overall project. So I created another folder specifically for all the Adobe Audition assets. Now, the other things you will need to select correctly there are sample rate must be 48,000 Hertz, a bit depth of 24. The mix is stereo. Once you have the name, the folder location, the proper sample rate and bit depth, you're good to go. Next step, we will import the video file that we will use for this month's project. Once we have imported the file, we can go to File Manager and drag and drop that video file onto the editor window. This will automatically create a track for the video. It will extract whatever audio is present within the video file and create a new audio track with the audio information belonging to the video. In this case, the video just comes with the beeps for the countdown. Next step, let's name all our tracks. Let's name these tracks according to the audio function they will have, whether it's dialogue or voiceover, music or sound effects. Do not leave these tracks labeled as track one, track two, track three. Once you close this session and you put it away for a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, if it's an ongoing project for a client, it's much harder for you to remember what was what in these tracks if you don't name the track name correctly. Make sure it's something simple, anything that will help in the process of quickly identifying what needs to happen. Now the next step is we are going to start creating markers. We're gonna start the video, and as soon as we identify a part within this video that we feel a sound needs to be attributed to it, whether it is a line for dialogue, a line for a sound effect, or a line for music. Next, we're gonna go into the marker window and we're gonna start renaming those markers based on what you see. So later you can do a printout or a screenshot of your markers. You can use these markers to quickly identify and create your audio storyboard. With this last step, we come to the end of this first video. This is the basic process that you will need to accomplish on this week one to begin to be prepared for this project. 